Hi everybody, this is Raymond Francis. I want to talk about type 2 diabetes. You know, type 2 diabetes is a really bad choice. It's one of our fastest growing chronic health problems. Long-term complications include eye, kidney, and nerve damage, as well as heart problems and stroke, and even cancer. This is long-term. Type 2 diabetes accounts for 90 to 95% of all diabetes cases. And we have to ask, why is this happening? We know that obesity is a big factor. Maintaining the healthy, a healthy weight is one of the best things you can do to keep yourself from developing diabetes, as well as a, a host of other uh, conditions, including hypertension and heart disease and cancer. Type 2 diabetes is a chronic disease that simply should not exist. It's a problem we have created with our poor diets and our toxic exposures in our lifestyle. There's no reason for anyone to have type 2 diabetes. It's easy to prevent, easy to reverse with diet and exercise and supplements. Controlling blood sugar is essential to preventing and reversing type 2 diabetes. So get the sugar out of your life. Refined sugar is not a food. It's a deadly metabolic poison that kills you slowly. Every time you consume sugar, you do more permanent damage to your body, you accelerate the aging process, and you cause disease of every description. Eliminate grains, especially wheat, from your diet, or at least substantially reduce them. The starches and grains quickly metabolize into sugar and increase your blood sugar levels just like refined sugar does. Many people are deficient in critical nutrients to help to control blood sugar and the complications of diabetes. These include vitamins A and B1 and B3 and B6 and B12 and C and D and E, as well as chromium and magnesium and manganese and zinc and essential fatty acids and alpha lipoic acid. Supplementing with high quality supplements is essential. Eating a plant-based diet is what you want. Lots of fresh vegetables, fruits, nuts, and seeds, as well as small amounts of high-quality proteins, like organic eggs. Eat organic foods because pesticides contribute to diabetes. This is why farm workers have high rates of type 2 diabetes. There is no question that environmental toxins contribute to our diabetes epidemic. Now, while pesticides are a big problem, even particulate matter from automobile and diesel exhausts contribute to diabetes. Phthalate chemicals uh, leaching from plastics have been linked to impaired insulin production and increased insulin resistance. The same goes for flame retardants, such as polybrominated diphenyl ethers and bisphenol A from canned uh, beverages and canned foods and even from credit card receipts. Fluoride from your tap water and toothpaste can increase blood sugar levels. The importance of exercise cannot be underestimated. Exercise is critical to preventing and reversing type 2 diabetes and is essential to your wellness plan. Exercise can help control your blood sugar as well as lower stress and improve overall health. Exercise for at least 30 minutes five days a week. My personal choices are swimming, riding my bike, and rebounding. Do whatever works for you, but do it. There you have it. Once again, health is a choice, and you have to learn how to choose it. Read my book, The Great American Health Hoax. Thanks for listening. Enjoy.